Today, we're going to be breaking down Mr. Kevin Sanders' high value mean. So, we're going to be breaking it down with math, a statistical analysis, and basic deductive reasoning. Mr. Samuel says that there are six principles to being a high value man. A principle is a fundamental assumption or guiding belief. Now, he got the assumption part right. Okay, number one, you have to make $120,000 a year. That's based on, and we're going to base it on Atlanta money. We're not going to go anywhere else. We're going to base it solely on Atlanta money. Yeah, this crap makes about as much sense as a bloodhound working in skin care. Uh, Mr. Bloodhound, uh, could you tell me, uh, what can I do for my sagging skin? Yeah, this high-value man thing has all our young, young men running around. Pretending like they make $120,000 a year, basically being something that they're not. Well, I'm trying to act my way, and it's a whole bunch of high value in that alone. If you had $1 and tons of courage, your possibilities are limitless. And what I'm trying to say is, is that courage is more valuable than money. Number two, uh, you have to make this money consistently for five years. Now, if you're going to make one of these here high-value man things, make sure that the people can get past number one and number two. You know, when I read that shit, I kind of felt sick in Ebola. Number three, there's group acceptance. So there's a group of guys that are like you, like mine, and they have to accept you into the group. Yeah, my cousin joined one of those groups. He got in the group and stole all the people's identity. He said, he told me, he said, look, man, it was a complete waste of my time because... I found out that none of the people in the group was who they feared they were. Uh, number four uh, deals with networking. Uh, what do you bring to the group that actually helps the group? If you believe this crap, you need a good Chinese movie ass whooping. Uh, number five is uh, visualization. So uh, not only do you have to be in the group, you have to be active in the group. And as my dad would say, in his deep southern vernacular, this is some pure D, natural bone, bullshit. Now, if you're going to make something, especially with our young people in mind, you're going to make sure that it changes people because changed people can change situations. Uh, number six is utilization, meaning that you have to be not only visual, but have a definite, defined use for the group. He must have came up with that shit from his readings at the adult bookstore and hanging out at the strip club. Or he went to the Walmart in Atlanta and couldn't stand the sight of the people that he saw in there. He must have put this crap together fast too. I can see him now. I need to hear up man because I put this thing together and I stopped by the adult bookstore to pick up a few motivational things. To come up with some shit like that, your heart has to be hurting you. Okay, guys, let's say we're at uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium where the Atlanta Falcons play, and we have 60,000 potential black high-value men in it. Only 6% of black men make $120,000 a year. Therefore, we're down to 3,600 men. Of those 3,600 men, 55% of them need to be single. Now we're down to 1,980 men. Of the 1,980 men, 30% of them have job instability. Therefore, we're down to 1,446 men. 15% of those men are gay. Now we're down to 1,229 men. 55% of those men have bad credit. Now we're down to 553 men. Oh, wow, too bad. We have to change stadiums. Of the 553 men, 35% of them are overextended. Now we're down to 359 men. According to my stats, out of 60,000 men, only 6 tenths of 1% qualify to be a high value man. But we're going to be very liberal and say that out of the, out of the 60,000 men, 1 to 3% qualified to be deemed 
a high value man, according to Mr. Samuels' principles. You can never use money to measure a man or define his value. So this weekend, I decided to go out and try to find this high value black man. Now, I was unsuccessful and I did not find him. But I did find a black Waldo and I smoked a joint with Bigfoot. Fellas, if you want to use these bullshit principles to find a high value woman, I'm going to show you how to do it for a whole lot cheaper. All you got to do is ride up and down my Luther King Boulevard on a Friday night after hours and she'll come up to you with these five words. Do you need a date? And 15 minutes into that date, she will be high value. 